The history of water on Mars is complicated and reveals itself through canyons and lake shores that lurk interleaved between craters old and new. Detailed maps of Mars' surface from missions like Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter reveal that throughout its early history, three to four billion years ago, Mars fluctuated between wetter and more arid climates, while at the same time suffering from a bombardment of comets and asteroids that constantly rewrote its surface. In a new paper appearing in the journal Nature, researchers led by Timothy Gouge explore the formation of canyons and the specific role of floods triggered by failing crater walls. PSI researcher Alex Morgan was second author on this paper. While both Earth and Mars had water in their deep past, their histories diverged as the worlds cooled. While we stayed warm enough for rain and oceans, Mars's water got locked away in ice and escaped from the atmosphere. This was a gradual process, and initially punctuated heating from impacts brought water back, however temporarily. The early impacts shaped Mars's history in amazing ways. Here on Earth, our lakes often form in naturally occurring low areas, and their shorelines erode into surrounding higher land. On Mars, lakes appear to have often formed in more dramatically carved out craters, which had surrounding walls that lifted up above the landscape like giant partially above ground pools. Just as human built levees and pool walls may fail, asteroid made crater walls can collapse sending floodwaters racing across Mars. On warmer days on early Mars, craters became places for lakes to form. Failing crater walls built canyons and then later impacts forming new crater walls that interrupted river valleys and created new places for failures to occur and form new canyons. It has been known for a while that a few select Martian valleys were formed from lake overflow flooding, but our study is the first global analysis. Previous work has argued that differences between valley networks on Mars and river valleys on Earth are evidence that Martian features form by processes other than surface water, such as groundwater or glacial erosion. Our results show that many Martian valleys are in fact more analogous to catastrophic floods on Earth, such as those that shaped the Northwest United States at the end of the last glacial period. During a lake breach flood, water poured out the cracked crater walls, cutting deep canyons into the terrain. Later, during wet phases in Mars's history, water running from breached lakes, as well as other high areas, would cut extended river valleys, just like we see on Earth. During dry eras, impact cratering and volcanism would disrupt previously developed rivers, essentially creating dams. When the climate warmed to a point where liquid water was stable on the surface, there would have been numerous floods as new flow paths had to be created across the cratered landscape. Earth's surface is constantly changing due to weathering, erosion, and plate tectonics. This erasing of our planet's past makes it impossible for us to see if our own world was once covered in collapsing crater lakes and other impact-related flooding events. What we do know is flooding related to collapsing lakes on Earth can be associated with things like failing glaciers. While the source a failing crater wall versus a failing glacier wall are very different, the science behind the devastation they trigger is the same. The biggest difference between Earth and Mars may be in the balance of how water has shaped these worlds. On Earth, we have a several billion year history of rains and snowmelt cutting valleys through the landscape, and the catastrophic flood events apparent on our planet are few and the total volume of landscape cut away during these events is relatively small. On Mars, lake breach flooding played a bigger role. We found that at least a quarter of the total eroded volume of Martian Valley networks were carved by lake breach floods. This high number is particularly striking considering that valleys formed by lake breach floods make up just 3% of Mars's total valley length. This discrepancy is accounted for by the fact that outlet canyons are significantly deeper than other valleys. These floods would have shaped the overall Martian topography, affecting the flow paths of other valleys. Our results don't negate the importance of precipitation fed runoff on early Mars. On the contrary, liquid water had to be stable for long enough for lakes to fill from inlet rivers. While it may be deeply frustrating to see Mars only as a dry desert world, 
It is exciting to see fossilized into its surface the story of its wet and wild past. Paper by paper, our researchers are teasing out the formation stories for everything we see. And while we can't swim in a Martian lake, we can at least imagine the dynamic landscape they once filled. <laughs>